So, basically, um, I've been MGTOW for a while now. Um, I want to say it's been at least half a year to maybe eight months that I've h held the MGTOW title. But after watching, you know, enough Sandman videos and uh, people like that, you know, also, let's not forget the angry MGTOW, um, who I'm definitely not a huge fan of, but I've come to the conclusion that there are more MGTOWs um, in the MGTOW community that I feel are misogynistic, who I don't want to hang around with anymore. I no longer want the title. Um... I understand that there is a problem with women, you know, that they are victimized by feminism. But seeing the comments in a lot of MGTOW videos, it's just, it kind of makes me cringe. And I can tell there's a lot of misogyny, uh, a lot of spite. And, um, you know, I honestly, I just feel sorry for these kinds of people. I am not a white knight by any measure. I am not one of these people, you know, who... Uh, is your typical simp or whatever terms you know they use i just really feel sorry for them that they have such a negative vibe uh i recently saw a comment from a guy who said that women want chaos and that they want to see the world burn and uh excuse me sir but i think you've got the term women mixed up with liberals <laughs> no but seriously i mean that's just sad that someone thinks that ill of women that they, <laughs> they think that they're like trying to destroy humanity i mean come on man what planet do you live on are you really that close-minded and just xenophobic that you actually feel that way um females are no different from men i mean sure they are a little bit but we're both humans and so to insult the female um, sex, you're basically insulting yourself. You're insulting humans. And I have an issue with that. Um, that to me is just like hating black people, you know? You're just hating someone because they're different from you. And that's xenophobia. Uh, excuse the moth I have in my room. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, it's just, it's xenophobia at its finest, you know? And I just don't want to... I don't want to hold the title MGTOW anymore. Uh, I've decided that, you know, I think MGTOW is mostly just for douchebag guys, you know, who just want to hate on other people who are maybe mad, you know, because they haven't had sex in a really long time. And I understand that because sometimes I get sexually frustrated too. But really, guys, I mean, come on, stop taking your shit out on women, really. It's just lame. Um, you know, I haven't been laid in a long time, okay? <laughs> and I can tell you guys, you know, sometimes... It does make it tempting to be a hateful asshole. But in reality, it's it's not women's fault entirely. It's just, uh, I would say it's more so the fault of government, you know, for creating feminism that has made a lot of women blind. And not just feminism, but other things too, you know. Um, and it's just, uh, we can't take it out on women, guys. Because when you do that, you're just making the problem worse. You're making the world worse you know we don't need any more hate in the world really we have enough hate as it is and these MGTOWs a lot of them I just I no longer want to be affiliated with so I mean I'm sorry if I offend some of you MGTOWs with this video but really I would just say if you have a problem with women don't take it out on women take it out on feminism Take it out on all this other shit going on in the world. It's really not women's fault. They're targets, you know. And they're being used and manipulated. And so are men, definitely. So it's not just women who are targets. And I want to make that clear. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, I'm no longer going to be using the label MGTOW. And really, I would recommend you guys do the same. You know, labels are just stupid to begin with. We don't need them. We're all just humans. So thanks for watching.